It's the yearly spectacle on San Antonio's beloved Riverwalk with vibrant barges and festive bands entertaining hundreds of thousands in downtown San Antonio. Live on KSAT 12, this is the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Welcome to a gray but so far dry San Antonio Riverwalk for the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade here in the Arneson River Theater. We had questions all day yes. about whether this was going to happen. You can see it is in full swing, and we're so glad you are here with us. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Myra Arthur. And I'm David Sears, and once again, we're very proud, very happy to be with you again tonight, bringing you such a special and such a unique event. You will not find this event anywhere across the state of Texas, across the country, across oh, the world yeah. for that fact. And we are so happy that about 2.20 this afternoon, the Cavaliers decided that it is a go. The weather is going to hold up, it looks like. So we're going to get this thing underway. And they have worked really, really hard to get everything together, to get all the barges in the river and get ready. And they'll be coming by here in just a few minutes. So once again, welcome to the broadcast. And, you know, it would not be a official KSET 12 Fiesta River Parade oh, broadcast yes. without the... Go beginning of Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta. That, that <laughs> marks the beginning. It's the official beginning of the Fiesta River Parade. You know, we've got a couple of folks that are joining us tonight yeah. that have never really experienced the broadcast portion of the Fiesta River it's Parade. It's a team effort here at KSAT. They are new to the River Parade, certainly not new to Fiesta, though. SA Live's Jeff Roper and Fiona Gorstiza. Guys, out among the crowd, we can see they're filling in here. Nobody was worried about the rain, it looks like. It looks like Fiona's already ready. Oh, oh. Ready to go. I was born ready for this, as, as was Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I was a judge last year for all the great floats and all the great work that the Texas Cavaliers do for our community and education. Here's some of the guys Woo! right now, the commanders here. Yay! These are the people putting on the party tonight, and we are so excited to be a part of it, Fiona. We're standing here, of course, on the bridge. We wanted to give you a viewpoint of the opposite way. This is what the floats will be seeing as they go by, as the crowd starts to fill in. So we are very excited for this to get underway. And there's some parties that are happening behind the scenes. I don't know if, Chris, if you could swing over here and look at it. Everybody over here what? in the, in the yeah. expensive seats. Hey, look at that. Save one for us. So the party is tonight on KSAT 12. We're going all the way till 10 o'clock. And Fiona and I are so excited to be here because we get to brag about San Antonio and Fiesta and the Texas Cavaliers tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. So we invite you to DVR that too. You don't want to miss a minute of the action. And I still have yet to be cascarone. Well, we'll, we'll fix that. No, <laughs> don't mess it. I got to have this hair back by 10 tonight. <laughs> As you can tell, the next two hours are going to be very fun-filled Yeah, hours. those two know how to have a good yeah, time, but they, Jeff does need some confetti do. in that hair. And we want to start by talking about the Cavaliers. Now, this is a group of men who have really worked hard, not only to put this parade together, but all the proceeds from this parade go to various charities around town. Yeah, that's those gentlemen you see out there in baby blue and red and those nice, bright uniforms. They are the Texas Cavaliers. So we want to show you who they are and a little bit about what they do. They're the men in blue who put on the river parade each and every fiesta. The Texas Cavaliers is an organization that has San Antonio history dating back nine decades. We were formed in 1926, the Texas Cavaliers, and we were formed with three principles in mind. One was to recognize and remember our fallen heroes at the Alamo. The other was our cordial relations with the military. And the third one is to keep horsemanship alive. The Cavaliers added a fourth mission in 1989 by creating their charitable foundation aimed at raising money for local children's charities. That first year, we distributed $600 to three charities. This year, we should be able to distribute over half a million dollars to 50 charities, and that is going to bring our total since inception to over $4 million that we've distributed uh, to children's charities in Bear County and South Texas. This year, the Texas Cavaliers and the Texas Cavalier Foundation will distribute over half a million dollars to children's charities in, in San Antonio. We couldn't do that without the support of our corporate sponsors, HEB, Whataburger, IBC, Silver Eagle, BB&T Bank, and Vision Works. Each year, the Cavaliers choose a charitable honoree to receive a larger grant and get a prime spot in the River Parade. This year's charitable honoree is KIPP Academy. KIPP is a high-performing charter school that serves children inside of 410 and underserved communities. 100% of their enrollment is accepted to college, and they help them through that process the entire way. 
Um, it's an amazing place. In addition to KIPP, dozens of other children's charities will have representatives riding in tonight's parade. The River Parade gives them a chance to put their charity, to, to put it on a platform and show what they're about, and it floats down the river. So it's, it's their kids on the float on most cases, and so it's just a, it's a neat opportunity for the charities to show themselves down, the, you know, in the parade. In keeping with that core principle of cordial relations with the military, the Texas Cavaliers also host a special viewing party for military families and first responders. We're very proud of our military event at the River Parade. Uh, we host 1,500 military families out. Many of them are wounded warriors. We just got here from uh, Virginia Langley Air Force Base, so it was just, just great to be welcomed in such a way and be a part of Fiesta. We were really excited. The River Parade theme is River of Champions. It's not who crossed the finish line first. It's not who won the Super Bowl that year. It's who are the champions in your life. Is it your dad? Is it your mentor? Is your school? Or it could be a peer in school that helps lift up the other kids when they're down. Uh, so we're going to deliver that message to the hospitals and the schools and, and the places we go. We say it all during Fiesta. It is a party with a purpose, and the Texas Cavaliers do so much good work in putting this parade together. Raised millions of dollars over the years, and we can't thank them enough. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to some very special people who will be on some of the barges that will be passing through the Artisan River Theater tonight. You are watching KZF12's coverage of the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We are coming right back. With the KSAT Connect app, your new best friend is only a few clicks away. See who's looking for a new home on our Pet Picks channel located under Entertainment. With pictures, bios, and adoption information, finding the perfect pet is easy. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back! Okay, enough of the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new work. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cab Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. When celebrating Fiesta, let's keep the San Antonio area safe. Join the millions of American adults who have either been a designated driver or used one. Thanks to Texans drinking responsibly, drunk driving fatalities are at a record low. Let's continue to keep San Antonio roads safe. Make a plan to make it home. Remember, celebrate responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Just don't do it. Happy Fiesta from your friends at Bud Light and Silver Eagle Distributors. And the San Antonio Police Department. Viva, Viva Fiesta. Fiesta! At Methodist Healthcare, we know life isn't just lived. It's treasured, celebrated, and we do everything in our power to preserve it. A clear vision and dedication have guided us. Our mission will never waver. That's our pledge. That's our privilege. For over 50 years, we've delivered a level of care that's made Methodist your preferred choice. Methodist Healthcare. Look at him. You want me to? Shake. Down. Speak. Kick your salad up a notch with a new spicy Southwest salad. Only at Chick fil A. Welcome back to KSAT 12's live coverage of the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. You can see the seats are starting to fill up. We're still a few minutes away from the barges actually reaching the Arneson River Theater, so the folks are starting to pile in. And you know, I think a lot of people just said, heck, with the weather, I'm going. It's yeah, the River I, Parade. I, people have their umbrellas, their ponchos yeah. if they need them, but things are looking good right now. And there is a theme every year, of course, to the parade. This year's theme is River of Champ Champions. And the Texas Cavaliers have chosen their Grand Marshal as someone who has championed higher education for many, many years here in San Antonio. Dr. Ricardo Romo, the president of UTSA, will serve as tonight's Grand Marshal. The Cavaliers formally invited him on campus a few weeks ago, and Dr. Romo was clearly excited about the big opportunity. Boy, well, aspires one day to do some interesting things, and uh, great things are like a Grand Marshal I never thought it would be for me. 
but I, I kept watching those parades and kept watching everybody's excitement about it. And now I'm a part of it, and I'm going to be right there in the lead. And it's just going to be one of the most exciting days of my life, no question. It will not be a lonely ride for Dr. Romo. Each, each year, the Cavaliers award someone a very special prize. They get their artwork on the cover of the program. And this is the artwork this year. You see the Spurs and you see Fiesta all tied in together. You like that, it huh? It looks good. Yeah, yeah the, the winning student gets their artwork featured on the parade programs, and they get a big prize along with this. They get to ride on the Grand Marshal's float, and they win a $5,000 award for their school. And the award was announced just a few days ago. This year's Margaret Casillas Student Artist Award winner, Natalie Tan. I was really surprised. I didn't expect it to like win because there's so many amazing artwork over here, so many amazing artists, but I was just really surprised. I'm a big fan of the Spurs. So I definitely added them in. And the Texas Cavaliers and King Antonio, of course, they're awesome. Hey, we think Natalie is pretty awesome, too, and clearly very talented, winning $5,000 for her school's art program. By the way, important to note here that Natalie's art teacher, Mrs. Carolyn Berry, is retiring this year after teaching 40 years of art here in San Antonio. So congratulations to both Natalie and Mrs. Berry. So she goes out with a $5,000 winner. And she goes, or, and, and $5,000. So that's she goes a, out hey, with, with the winner. That's She's got a way to round out a cover. great career. Yeah. So she gets to leave $5,000 to the next art teacher. Not bad. Natalie and Lockhill Elementary weren't the only winners. The Cavaliers dished up with a $45,000 to school art programs across Bear County, 10 council districts, and one at large from Bear County. Right now, you're seeing the winning artwork from each city council district across San Antonio. Now, each of these kids won $3,000 for their schools. Absolutely fantastic. Great job by all the kids. And we will be right back. Charmed, fortunate, favored. However you say it, Lucky is what she is. And here's where she found it. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. Lucky you. Introducing new Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. It's your favorite wine refreshed in a can. Now you can finally take Barefoot where you couldn't get Barefoot before. New Spritzer cans are convenient and refreshing. Perfect for beach days, barbecues, picnics, and the great outdoors. Anywhere you want to get Barefoot and have a great time. Available nationwide this summer in crisp white and summer red. New Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. The Seven Seas Food Festival is back at SeaWorld. Set sail on a taste adventure with delicious international foods, local craft beers, and unique wines. Each weekend, April 9th to May 15th, enjoy live music while you sip and sample your way across the seven seas. Visit again and again all year long with the SeaWorld Annual Pass. Right now, buy an annual pass and get a free Fiesta medal. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back. Okay, enough with the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new work. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cap Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Like road signs, my words are true. They bring me slowly back. <laughs> I missed you. Did you bring new ones? You work hard for more than just you. You went to Montana. I did. I Working to together will help you save for her future geology degree. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. This April, you could spin to win. On Select Wednesdays, Hot Seat Drawings will decide who gets to play. Prizes include up to $1,000 cash, $500 in Lucky Bucks, a hotel prize package, and more. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. Lucky you! Whoa. 
Welcome back to KZF12's coverage of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. You see the stage awaits King Antonio. Not his only event today. He is a busy guy. Oh, not even close. He is so busy throughout Fiesta. And our own Katie Vossler got to squeeze some time into his schedule. Tag along with the King for a day. Take a look at what happened. When Fiesta rolls around, there's no rest for King Antonio. We tagged along with this year's King, Hunt Winton, who travels to local schools and hospitals with an entourage of Cavaliers and a confetti shooting champion machine that can be a little tricky to operate. Sweating when the machine really wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> well, you played it off well. I hope you all can get it that far. <laughs> The school routine also includes a royal kiss for outstanding teachers and students. And I had to ask, what happens if someone turns their head the wrong way? Well, I tell them to keep their face straight. <laughs> you have to look straight ahead. Don't look left or right. When I count to three, we're going to get a royal kiss. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The King makes more than a dozen stops a day during Fiesta, and he even has a police escort helping him get around town. We even made a stop at the school of one officer's son. You gotta hold my sword for me. <laughs> all right, thank you. No, we really appreciate all your dad's doing for us. See, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's fun to see people smile. The, the hospital visits are one of my favorites. I talked to nine-year-old Victoria about her hospital visit with King Antonio. He show, got to show me his sword. It was pretty cool. Very cool. He gave me this little special medal. Show wow. <laughs> he said he's got like a hundred something, but he like gives it to only um, uh, different people, and so I got to get it. So keep an eye out for King Antonio and the Cavaliers this fiesta. They might even have a working champion machine. That shows you some of the good that they do and the smiles they put on people's oh. faces outside of the river parade. The young man is going to be the envy of his classmates for years to come after yes. getting kissed by the queen. All right, the parade here, wait, is wait, getting here's so a much solution closer. To that machine right here, you just, you just like that, no problem. <laughs> and that's how you know the parade is getting closer. Yeah. Two cascarones down. We should have the arrival of King Antonio in any minute. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Introducing new Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. It's your favorite wine refreshed in a can. Now you can finally take Barefoot where you couldn't get Barefoot before. New Spritzer cans are convenient and refreshing. Perfect for beach days, barbecues, picnics, and the great outdoors. Anywhere you want to get Barefoot and have a great time. Available nationwide this summer in crisp white and summer red. New Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. The Seven Seas Food Festival is back. At SeaWorld, set sail on a taste adventure with delicious international foods, local craft beers, and unique wines. Each weekend, April 9th to May 15th, enjoy live music while you sip and sample your way across the seven seas. Visit again and again all year long with the SeaWorld Annual Pass. Right now, buy an annual pass and get a free Fiesta medal. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back. Okay, enough of the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new word. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cab Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. When celebrating Fiesta, let's keep the San Antonio area safe. Join the millions of American adults who have either been a designated driver or used one. Thanks to Texans drinking responsibly, drunk driving fatalities are at a record low. Let's continue to keep San Antonio roads safe. Make a plan to make it home. Remember, celebrate responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Just don't do it. Happy Fiesta from your friends at Bud Light and Silver Eagle Distributors. And the San Antonio Police Department. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta. At Methodist Healthcare, we know life isn't just lived, it's treasured, celebrated, and we do everything in our power to preserve it. A clear vision and dedication have guided us. Our mission will never waver. That's our pledge, 
That's our privilege. For over 50 years, we've delivered a level of care that's made Methodist your preferred choice. Methodist Healthcare. And welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade live here on KSAT 12. We are still moments away from King Antonio arriving here in the Arneson River Theater. A lot of work goes into putting this parade together, but you know, these guys work year round, especially oh, yeah. when it comes to raising funds. And this year, a record number of charitable contributions have been made around San Antonio. The Cavaliers normally give about $50,000 to their charitable honorees each year. This time around, those funds were matched four times over by the Cavaliers and members of the community providing KIPP San Antonio Public Schools with a quarter of a million dollars. Absolutely incredible. And now in response, KIPP is going to name the gymnasium at their upcoming downtown campus after the Cavaliers. The new KIPP campus will be the first public school built in downtown San Antonio in 99 years. Wow. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, fantastic work that they do. Back here in the River Theater, Jeff and Fiona are somewhere around here. And <laughs> oh. did you guys bring your swimmies? Yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great. Fiona, keep rolling. I know. Keep you know, rolling. We, we have know, our we, own barge this, is this our year. Own float. We were going to make sure this parade happened no matter what. We hang on, back up. We, we missed the camera. Boat? We got to back up. Since all we're right, the first float in the parade, back up. Back up. We, we just kidding. We're we're out here on the on the docks. <laughs> we wanted to make sure that you had a parade tonight. So we were prepared. Yes, we are prepared. We have everything. We have floaties just in case anybody goes in, we'll be able to help. Come with us I'll this way. Us. We want to show you what. We want to, we'll show the you what the judges we'll and what's going to be seen on the stage tonight. Look this at is the this. view nobody else will have. Look Except when we sneak on stage. View. Look at the crowd as they begin to fill it. Hey, everybody, watch! You're on TV. Hey. Hey. You can tell I don't have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. Now, the judges, including our very own Mike Osterhage, will be on stage. That's right. He will as well. And, of course, we are so looking forward to seeing all the floats tonight. And this is, of course, where the party's at. The party continues even into 9 o'clock tonight with our Fiesta special. So we're going to be telling you more about what's coming in Fiesta 2016, some of the changes with the Battle of Flower Rovers. That's right. All that as well. Hey, and I want you to know, know something. The reason I sound drunk is because I hear myself in my ear. I know, I hear myself in my ear, um, too. I have, I have had nothing to drink, to drink. <laughs> but I cannot speak because well. I hear myself. So we're going to pitch it back to Myra and David before I get fired. That's good. good to know, especially since they are so close to the river. I was hey, worried about them. How much money you want to bet oh, that I, he does I, or does not uh, fall into the river at some point? I don't, I don't. No. I, I don't bet know. Bet you two cascarones. They were working awful hard and going nowhere on that bar 12 ago. So what is the effort that counts, that guys? Means. Keeping us entertained here on the Riverwalk as we await oh. the arrival of King Antonio for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We will be right back. At Methodist Healthcare, we know life isn't just lived. It's treasured, celebrated, and we do everything in our power to preserve it. A clear vision and dedication have guided us. Our mission will never waver. That's our pledge. That's our privilege. For over 50 years, we've delivered a level of care that's made Methodist your preferred choice. Methodist Healthcare. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back. Okay, enough with the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new word. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cap Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. When celebrating Fiesta, let's keep the San Antonio area safe. Join the millions of American adults who have either been a designated driver or used one. Thanks to Texans drinking responsibly, drunk driving fatalities are at a record low. Let's continue to keep San Antonio roads safe. Make a plan to make it home. Remember, celebrate responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Just don't do it. Happy Fiesta from your friends at Bud Light and Silver Eagle Distributors. And the San Antonio Police Department. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta. Okay, boy. You want me to... Shake? 
down. Speak. Kick your salad up a notch with a new spicy Southwest salad. Only at Chick-fil-A. This is where excellence happens. This is top tier. University of Texas at San Antonio. And welcome back to the 75th Cavalier River Parade. We are just about to see King Antonio arrive, which will be the official, official beginning of the That's river right. parade. He, he comes down the river, he gets off, there's a procession, there's confetti, it kicks things off and makes it officially the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. He is coming right up the river as we speak. What we missed a few moments ago, we had some uh, military folks coming through the 4th Reconnaissance Battalion preceding King Antonio the 94th, R. Hunt Winton the 3rd is King Antonio the 94th. Let's watch him come into the theater here. We talked about all of the things that King Antonio does during Fiesta, so many different visits to different parts of our community, schools, hospitals, military bases, nursing homes. I have seen these guys and King Antonio and his aides out and about all over San Antonio. They are just everywhere during this time of year, bringing a whole lot of smiles and excitement, passing out medals left and right, getting everybody in the Fiesta spirit. And as he gets ready to debarge, and then walk across the bridge and he actually is going to give us a speech here in just a few minutes we're going to give a, a little bit of history about uh, king antonio first off his name is r hunt winton the third he was crowned king antonio the 94th in the ceremony for the alamo back on april 16th of this year he is a fourth generation san antonio native hunt is the founder of southern sleep diagnostics the sleep disorders laboratory is owned and managed since way back in 1998. He actually graduated from Christchurch School out in Virginia, but of course, he came to Texas as fast as he could get here, and he is a proud graduate of Texas Tech University. Oh, you'll like that, David Sears. Yes, Red Raiders, love that. All right, we are gonna take a quick break as he makes his way to the main stage here in the River Theater. We will be right back, stay with us. I'm Gloria of AARP, and I'm here at the mural to paint you a picture of all the real possibilities we're creating right here in our community. Because if you don't think real possibilities in San Antonio, when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. We're making our city more livable, hosting our Movies for Grown Up series, providing AARP tech workshops, and sponsoring local music and dancing festivals. Get to know us at aarp.org slash San Antonio. This is how we get ready for your party at Pericos. Handmade corn and flour tortillas that come together with the freshest ingredients to make what we call best mix. At Pericos, we serve all your classic favorites just how you love them. Something that only a family-owned restaurant from San Antonio could do. For lunch, dinner, or even happy hour. Don't just have a meal, have a fiesta. This is your invitation to the party. Welcome to Pericos. At Gabriel's Liquor, we care about our customers. Whether you're a beer drinker, like a tasty craft cocktail, or prefer a fine glass of wine, we got you covered. Come to any of our locations and browse our extensive selection of beer, liquor, and wine. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram to check out our amazing weekly specials, giveaways, and more. We are proud to be a San Antonio family-owned business. Shop local. Shop at the spot. Shop Gabriel's Liquor. And welcome back. As you can see, King Antonio has taken the stage and he is ready to officially begin the Fiesta River Parade. All right, let's listen in to what he has to say. Wow, we're having a parade. I wasn't sure we were going to. Viva! 
What a beautiful setting in the Artisan Theater here. We're so excited. I was really good and sure it was going to happen. So we're excited to be here. And Viva Fiesta! Thank you for being here for the 75th Annual Texas Cavalier River Parade. I want to introduce some of the guys that are here with, well, everybody that's here with me, not some of them. Uh, so I want to introduce them real quick. The commander of the Texas Cavaliers, who's got the hardest job, Mike Casillas and his wife, Jessica. My day aide, Phil Backey and his wife, Corey. Night A, Triple Furman and his wife, Joy. And Executive Aid and his wife, Barbie Henry Gonzalez. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. You know what? It's about the second time I've done it, and it would be really bad news. My wife, Kim! <laughs> Where is she? Let me tell you, that would not have been good. No, Kim has worked hard for months. She's done a fantastic job, and I would not be here without her. So again, thank you, Kim. I would like to, all right, the heart, I'm sorry, this is, this is not what I got on my phone, <laughs> I want to talk about the Cavalier Foundation, since it was established in 1989, the Texas Cavalier Charitable Foundation has contributed over $3,500,000, and actually today at the King's Council was over $4 million, to more than 120 children's charities across Bear County. This year we will deliver over 560,000 to more than, to more than 51 children's charities and an additional 500 will be raised through the Cavalier Charitable Matching Program. Let's give a round of applause for that. And I have a couple other people I want to thank for being here and that's my family and my extended family that all came from different states and different places, my mom and dad. And then my message at the schools is about being a champion. And I got three champions out there. Hunter Winton, Parker Winton, and Trevor Winton, and the Castle family. Would you all stand real quick? And the Castle families as well. Castle families stand too. Let's go. All right, next I want to, uh, let me introduce the man that uh, worked extraordinarily hard for 12 months to plan and produce this special river parade. Join me in a round of applause for this year's Te Texas Cavalier River Parade Marshal, Walter Trey Embry. Trey, on behalf of the entire, we're having a parade. You've been working for 12 months and we're having a parade. We're very excited. So I want to present you with the red plume, which is the most special gift medal that the Cavaliers have. We only give four away. And as River Parade Marshal, I want to put this on you. Congratulations, Trey. Thank you, King Antonio. Well, we're here today, and I tell you, I started out this morning at 7.30 thinking we're not going to have a parade. And I thought that at 7.30 and 8.30 and 9.30, all the way to about 2.30, and we finally said, talking to the city of San Antonio and our meteorologist at KSAT, we said, okay, it's, we got a window, we're going to go for it. So I'm really excited to be here. So... Our theme this year is a playoff for 2016 Olympics. Our theme is River of Champions, and our message to our charities is that 
not all heroes wear a cape. And our message is to the kids that there are heroes amongst us. There are teachers, educators, policemen, military men amongst us that are, represent heroes in, in our everyday lives. We are also here to celebrate San Antonio's diverse culture. And to capture the excitement and fiesta, each float tonight carries representatives of San Antonio's leading civic, charitable, and military organizations. They are the heart and soul of our great city. I'd like to give a heartfelt thanks to 375 volunteers, Cavalier volunteers, that helped put this parade on. We probably have more than 12,000 man hours in this parade, and a lot of those over the last 10 hours were, were hot and wet. I'd like to give special recognition to two gentlemen, Clyde, I'm sorry, Bart Simpson and Clyde Johnson. Both those guys are back at, at the forming area launching these, this parade for us. This parade would not be possible without their help. They, they both work, thank you. Both those guys have worked tirelessly to put on a successful river parade. I'd like to recognize my wife, Lynette, Bart's wife, Marnie, and Clyde's wife, Kim. Those three ladies have helped tremendously through this last year in supporting Bart, Clyde, and myself. Thank you, ladies. This year, the Texas Cavaliers, as King Antonio says, distributing $588,000. That, yeah, it's a big number. Those dollars went to 53 different children's charities. Every year, we pick one or two charities to highlight. This year, our charitable honoree is KIPP San Antonio. KIPP is an inner city charter school that serves kids inside of 410. They serve a demographic that's 98% minority, 85% economic disadvantage. And our partnership with KIPP, the Texas Cavaliers have given a check this year for $255,000. Another really great program with the Texas Cavaliers is every spring we have a citywide art contest held for elementary school students to determine their artwork on the cover of the program that many of you all have with you tonight. More than 2,000 students participated in this program from 80 different elementary schools. We met, we had judges, we voted, and overwhelmingly, Lock Hill Elementary fifth grader Natalie Tan as a grand prize winner. Natalie is with us tonight. Natalie, would you step forward? Uh, this year, our art program distributed $60,000 to 22 different students in art programs throughout San Antonio. It's a great program, and we're very proud. Thank you, Natalie. Another great program that this year, the Cavaliers have partnered with the San Antonio Library Foundation and the San Antonio, and the San Antonio Book Festival to sponsor a fiction writing contest. The Texas Cavalier Foundation donated $15,000 to encourage writing in public schools. Students were required to construct essays around the prompt, not all heroes wear capes, tying back into the King's message and back into the message of River of Champions. Tonight, we are joined by Anise Nuez Tovar, a 10th grader from Providence Catholic School. Please We are so proud of these students who participated and hope the winners truly enjoy the special night riding with the honorary Grand Marshal, UTSA President, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Speaking of Dr. Romo, <laughs> we are honored to have Dr. Romo as our Grand Marshal. Dr. Romo is a San Antonio born and raised champion. Dr. Romo grew up on the west side 
went on to the University of Texas on scholarship. Dr. Romo was the first Texan to break the four-minute mile at the University of Texas, and held that record for 41 years. It's, it's quite an accomplishment. But we were lucky. Dr. Romo came home and also became a champion in our community, supporting and, and leading the U U University of Texas at San Antonio to an incredible amount of growth. Dr. Romo, would like to join us and say hello. Viva Fiesta! All right, that's a, that's a tradition. Someone says Viva, you say Viva back. Okay, uh, um, I'm really honored to be this year's Grand Marshal. It's a tremendous honor, not just for me and my family, but also for University of Texas San Antonio. Trey, King Antonio, and all the Texas Cavaliers, we're so grateful for all the work that you do on behalf of schools and charities. Over 100 charities receive funding this year, and many schools, many individuals are going to be able to continue their education, young people, so they can go to universities, wherever it might be. I hope it'll be UTSA and they become roadrunners. However, moving right along on Viva, I just want to thank you all for coming out. You're brave, you're good, and to, to see the river of champions, a great theme. So enjoy Viva Fiesta! Thank you, Dr. Romo. Well, I think we're ready to get a parade going. I'd like to invite King Antonio back up and await your instructions. Okay, Trey. Viva the Texas Cavaliers and Viva Fiesta! Let's have a parade! <laughs> All right, wrapping up the opening ceremonies here. We are ready to get things started. The floats will be making their way down the river in just a few minutes. And we will be right back with the 75th Cavaliers River Parade right after this. Stay with us. So this building looks better than it's ever looked. In fact, it looks better than what it did when it opened in 1949. Do you want that outside big city entertainment? You are experiencing it here at the Coliseum. Come see how beautiful it is now. For more than 65 years of memories, the Freeman Coliseum has made our jaws drop, our eyes widen, and our hearts swell with joy. And I think that's a great thing, a great thing that this building is bringing to the community. Building memories is our business. This is how we get ready for your party at Pericos. Handmade corn and flour tortillas that come together with the freshest ingredients to make what we call best mix. At Pericos, we serve all your classic favorites just how you love them. Something that only a family-owned restaurant from San Antonio could do. For lunch, dinner, or even happy hour. Don't just have a meal, have a fiesta. This is your invitation to the party. Welcome to Pericos. I'll get him on. You want me to? Shake? Down? Speak. Kick your salad up a notch with a new spicy Southwest salad. Only at Chick-fil-A. All right, welcome back to the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We are still waiting for King Antonio to make his way back to his barge and head on down the river and greet all the folks. I can tell you, the Anderson River Theater has pretty much filled up, and when we look down the river from our angle, you can see around the curve that a lot oh, of yeah. folks have filled the chairs. Not many empty seats at all. So a lot of folks excited about uh, this actually happening today, and they talked about it during their speeches. You know, they were sweating this thing out early this morning, but fortunately... The weather cleared up, and they were able to, at about 2.20 this afternoon, make the decision to get this thing going. And aren't we glad they did? Because this turned out to be a pretty nice night. Yeah, and you know what? It, it's We're seeing some breaks in the clouds. Yeah. We've seen a couple of raindrops, but that has been it. It's been wonderful. And I remember in years past when you and I were out here, and it was <laughs> sweltering. <laughs> I would take this. a little this warm in the past, but today's good. Any day of the week. Yeah, it's very Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. And if you couldn't make it down here for whatever reason, we want to thank you for 
joining us tonight and watching the parade via KSAT 12. So, like we said, yeah. we're about to get this thing started. So, David and I, we're, we're all we're all set up here. We've yeah. got uh, what do we got? We got a, w a way to celebrate. We got the kind of margaritas we can drink while on the clock. <laughs> we can enjoy these, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, cheers. That's good. That's good. Cheers to the 2016. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, 2016. 75th River Parade. Yeah, that's and, right. And cheers to get this thing started. I don't know. I like dozens of these things. Those are I so much fun. got confetti in my margarita. Well, that's all right. After that, you won't know it in about They're an decorative. hour. They're decorative. They're <laughs> decorative. Absolutely. All right. I think we're about to get started. Oh, you know what? Jeff and Fiona are experiencing the River Parade with us for the first time. So I know and they're, they're making it a blast yeah, for the folks out there. I can tell already. Oh, oh look, well, there's my ghost or Hayes. Found. Wow. Hi, Mike. Uh -oh. Are we it's on the air? Yes. Yes. Live yeah. National San Antonio <laughs> Television, and we've got Mike. Osterhage. And I am official. And I'm really official because I have an SA Live pin on, so. Uh, That's what makes me a hard sure. gig. I know. And the floats are coming, Mike. Get to work. Come on, come on, come on. So they're going to be judging these floats on creativity music. And of course, he has the spirit. All Look right. at that. Here we go. The very first float coming down here. This is the Grand Marshal. We told you about him earlier. UTSA President Dr. Ricardo Romo. Leading the parade off for us here. And it's great to see him out there. And I think they mentioned that he was the first Texan to run under a four minute mile. A four minute mile, wow. Fortunately, the float's going a little slower than that, so we can <laughs> catch a good glimpse of, of Dr. Romo. And also on the float is the art winner. She is the one who created the Natalie cover Tan of the uh, program for this year. Excellent work from her. She's got the Spurs on there, winning what will hopefully be their sixth championship. Hey, of course, King you know Antonio's what? I think there. it's pretty appropriate because so, the theme of this year's parade is River of Champions. River we of are Champions. in the playoffs. We could be flowing that direction, mm -hmm. couldn't we? I think not. Uh, I like it. I like I it. So like many it different organizations are part of this parade tonight all champions of their own great causes and uh that, that's a big part of, of what they do here raising awareness raising funds what's the uh what's the painting right there is she staring at you ah uh, yeah mona mona lisa, mona lisa. Right. I wonder, did her eyes move this way <laughs> i don't know i wasn't looking closely enough i was watching but i wasn't wasn't sure this is the Military Fiesta Ambassadors, Military Coordinator, and USAF Band of the West. Oh, they put on such a good show. I believe they performed at Fiesta Fiesta this year. They are always at so many awesome community events around the Alamo City. Of course, we are Military City USA. They are such a big part of our community, and we're lucky to have them here. I think we're going to take a minute and, and listen in to some of their performance in front of the Artists and Rupert Theater crowd. the band Perry some country music to kick things off here for the River Parade. You know, if you want to get up at home and dance around your living room, feel free. Go right ahead because the music is really going to be good for the next hour and a half. Oh, so. I posted some video of you dancing earlier. Oh, no, you did. Up. did. Yes, you? I did. Uh, hey, getting into yes, it. Yes, I did. It's all about fun at the Fiesta Cavaliers River Parade tonight. And you know, we've been out here. This is—is is this our third, third year, year to do this together? Third year, yes. And it seems like it gets better and better each year. The crowd gets more and more into it, despite whatever whatever weather may be coming our way. The music gets louder, yes. and it's just as good as always. And it is. Because you know, I'm signed, sealed, delivered, and I'm yours if you would like. David Sears. <laughs> We're such a team. <laughs> Let's listen into this one. This is the senior mission commander for Sam Houston and Camp Bullets float. We know we mentioned that we're Military City USA. Did you know the U.S. Army has maintained a presence in the Alamo City since 1845? Steeped in history, absolutely. Lieutenant General Perry L. Wiggins is on this float. Lieutenant General. That's well decorated. Yes. 
And the band on that float is the Fort Sam 323rd Army Band, initially constituted January 15, 1944. I'm not sure any of those members are currently on the float, but it's been around a while. I like the shades, the hot pink yeah. shades. The guitarist there is rocking. And it's so important to see them on these floats and to see what the crowd, how the crowd reacts to them. People stand up, they clap, they get up off their feet to salute our heroes. And they're also pretty good artists. I mean, these guys are, you know, and ladies are willing to serve our country, put their life on the line for our country, and they're very talented in other fields as well. I bet. We are continuing the military theme here. The next float coming down the river, the Army at Fort Sam Houston. Continuing the Army presence, Fort Sam Houston, they are champions for each of the five major, major commands assigned here in San Antonio. Those are Army North, Army Medical Command, Army Installation Management Command, Army South, and the Mission and Installation Contracting Command. And the 323rd Army Band continues traditions of live music with their biohazard rock band. So there you go. We got all kind of scientific ways of doing things, I guess. Or disposing of things. Biohazard? <laughs> no That's hazmat suits dangerous. needed here. Yeah. Just your dancing shoes. This is next coming up after we uh, take a little listen in. are cranking it out tonight, man. This is like one right after another, just, just blowing and going. I'm right? always impressed stuff. by a tuba. It's just such a, I, I really am. It's such a All right. big instrument. I mean, look how big that thing is over this guy's head. And he is just rocking out with it. it. Too. The Army Fort Sam Houston, the band on that float entertaining the crowd. You can see as they go around the corner down here, you may not be able to see it on our, on our TV screen, but we can kind of get a glimpse of, of what they're doing. The crowd's clapping there, getting into the music those guys are, are performing. And coming up next is the U.S. Military Sea Services float, which is very appropriate that you would have a Sea Services float at a river parade. They ought to know something about being in the water, didn't they? I think now we're going to start oh. to see some of the Fiesta royalty. Okay. Here tonight, the Order of the Alamo. Maybe it was a submarine and I missed it. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, well, you know they are underwater. They are the champions of pageantry, and rightfully so. All of the elaborate outfits, the crowns, the jewels that all of the royalty wear during Fiesta. It's pretty impressive. Lida Steves is going to be the one on this float, and she is decked out. Look at how gorgeous that dress is, and look at how, oh, got a duck getting under. Her crowd is so big, she has to duck coming under the bridge. Can't Man, have any crowd well. casualties here wow. tonight. <laughs> she sparkles. Wow, look at that. Lida up front there. Now, Lida Steves is the 2015 Queen of the Order of the Alamo. This year's Queen, the 2016 Queen, will be crowned at Coronation, which is on Wednesday night at the Majestic Theater. The first public appearance for the new queen would we'll be the be Battle of Flowers Battle Parade. Of Flowers Parade. Yes, and if you can't make Friday. it down there, then you can watch that parade as well live here. What an elaborate dress. dress. It's just That's gorgeous. Fantastic. Oh, oh ah, show me your go. shoes. Love that tradition. That's some good looking boots she's got on. You gotta love some snazzy boots with a gorgeous dress. Let's see if she'll show them again. There we go. We get another look at some of those boots these girls are wearing. Show us your shoes. <laughs> I'm taking my shoes off and waving it at them. I don't think they're getting the message. Shoes. <laughs> there you go. She just showed them to the crowd. Right. There we go. There, there we go. We another go. view of those boots. Mission accomplished. All right. Those are good looking. Those are awesome. So here they are. Here is our military sea services. I knew they were there somewhere. Like I said, you can't have a river parade without some military on the river, right? That's right. Representing the U.S. Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. 
and it's the Navy Band Southeast Pride, and they are here all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. So, welcome to San Antonio. Participating in the parade are representatives of more than 8,000 active duty and reserve sailors and Coast Guardsmen serving in the San Antonio area. Southeast from Jacksonville, Florida. We're happy to have them here. They're getting the crowd going. I was going to say, he's working the crowd pretty good. Yeah. So. Then they'll crank out some music here in just a second. So, yeah, it is a pleasure for them to come all the way from Florida, isn't it? Here we go. Home music. Of course, you've mentioned it before. We we always talk about it, but it's always worth mentioning again how San Antonio is military town, USA. Whenever you see the military from any branch of service, it's always a thrill to see them and see them perform like they are today. wonder what other groups, other bands, organizations, what they think when they come to Fiesta for the first time. People from people, you know, from out of state, out of out of San Antonio, what must they think of this parade? Because this one, especially the river parade, like we said, it is unlike anything else you see in the country. Sitting there thinking uh, I've never seen anything like this before. This is fun. And San Antonio I like this town. knows how to do it. Yeah they do. All right, coming next is the River of Champions Fiesta Children. Making his way under the bridge right now. That's a big part of the excitement to see how excited kids get during Fiesta. They're so eager to get the medals. A lot of adults just as eager to get the <laughs> medals. But they're they're so thrilled to be out here with the face painting and the music and all the good food. Once again, this is the Mays Family Foundation sponsored float. Of course, the Texas Cavaliers faithfully presented the River Parade every year. This is the 75th. And they wanted to, a long time ago, showcase and benefit those groups that contribute to the unique quality of life that all of us are able to enjoy here in San Antonio. Consequently, the River Parade participates consistently, and a lot of local nonprofits are able to uh, take advantage of what the River Cavaliers do. Yeah, and, and that's a big part of what they do, is going to several different schools, hospitals, meeting with kids, and just kind of spreading the, the fiesta cheer, fiesta excitement. Look at those guys. That's something that you don't get to do very much in life. Once in a lifetime opportunity yeah, for a lot of them. that they will definitely remember. We'll be talking about that for a few weeks when they get back to school, won't they? <laughs> Come Monday? What is today? Today is Monday. Come tomorrow. Well, I, hope they go, I hope they go to school tomorrow. Better be going to school tomorrow. Here, here's this. Here's the next float of kids. See, that's why they're going early, because they got to go home and go to bed. That's right. Because they got school tomorrow, right? Yes. So how much? Oh, look at them all breaking the confetti. Look at the kids in the stands just loving them. Because, well, they're stopping to, to uh, hand out some medals, they hope. So... And once again, we, we talked about what the uh, Cavaliers have done for the, skips, the KIPP school this year. $250,000 they donated. They got four times 
the donations and what they normally do. They give about $50,000, and then they got four times that. So there's a Cavalier who has enjoyed the Coscaroni How much tradition. confetti do you think all the moms and dads of these kids are going to be finding when they get home? I don't know, but I'm, I'm working on you, so <laughs> ho hopefully you'll have... Uh... Confetti all over the car when you put the kids in. But it only happens once a year. <laughs> this is it. Which is why... Can't do that. I allow you to crack as many eggs as you do on my head. No problem. We've got a dozen over here. So. Hello, guys, on that float. Wouldn't be a parade on the river. And they will have that much energy throughout no. the entire parade yeah. route, I have a feeling. Wouldn't be a parade without the kids, and it wouldn't be a parade without uh, some of the representatives of the city of San Antonio. Yeah, the people who lead us are San Antonio mayor and city council members. They are champions this year of the city of San Antonio. Of course, you know, Ivy Taylor elected mayor of San Antonio on June 13th, 2015. Prior to that, she was appointed to the office of the mayor in July 2014. She served in the District 2 City Council representative. Total of five years beginning her election back in June of 2009. So she has served San Antonio for many years and served San Antonio well. Councilwoman Rebecca Villagran and Mike Gallagher, Councilman Ray Saldana there. Oh, and I see Councilman Alan Warwick there. Having a good time Check tonight. Check out as many medals as he has. Wow. And I, I have, I'm willing to bet. I haven't seen a, a close enough shot yet, but I'm willing to bet he has a Viva Fiesta bow tie on. Probably does. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break as we continue seeing all the floats come down the river for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Stay with us. We will be right back. This is where excellence happens. This is Top Tier. The University of Texas at San Antonio. Introducing new Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. It's your favorite wine refreshed in a can. Now you can finally take Barefoot where you couldn't get Barefoot before. New Spritzer cans are convenient and refreshing. Perfect for beach days, barbecues, picnics, and the great outdoors. Anywhere you want to get Barefoot and have a great time. Available nationwide this summer in crisp white and summer red. New Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. At Methodist Healthcare, we know life isn't just lived, it's treasured, celebrated, and we do everything in our power to preserve it. A clear vision and dedication have guided us. Our mission will never waver. That's our pledge. That's our privilege. For over 50 years, we've delivered a level of care that's made Methodist your preferred choice. Methodist Healthcare. And welcome back to the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Absolutely gorgeous night here at the San Antonio Artisan River Theater for the River Parade. We are looking at the San Antonio German Club float coming under the bridge. This, this is a very unique organization from way back in the 1800s. Yeah, 1880, the group was formed by a group of young single men of San Antonio for 134 years since then, with the exception of those years that were interrupted by war, the San Antonio German Club presented its debutantes during San Antonio social season. Yeah, the young women are presented each year. They are in their early 20s and mostly seniors in college. And there they are, the debutantes of the San Antonio German Club. German Club debutantes are first presented each year at the opening German Ball, the first week of November, which usually kicks off the club's social season. As they jam on down the river, the Children's Bereavement Center float is coming up next. The theme for this float, Fairy Tale Heroes. So we will see some heroes of the fairy tales on this float. 
The Children's Bereavement Center of South Texas, founded in May of 1997. They're a nonprofit. They recognize the permanent impact that loss could have on young people. They help children and families grieve through the death of a loved one. A lot of really important work that they do, just being there uh, to strengthen and to support those who've suffered a major loss. The float this year saluting champions who include every grieving child and teen in San Antonio who has experienced loss of a parent or loved one. And once again, recipients of some of the support from the Cavaliers, which is always fantastic to see. See, they're having a good time on that float tonight as well. well we've got Shrek, we've got Bell. I always like Shrek. Shrek was so misunderstood. <laughs> and look. To infinity and beyond. Have you ever been there? I have not. Always wanted to go. Of course, the Battle Flower Association 125-year float is coming up this past year. Or this year marks the 125th anniversary of the Battle Flowers Association. Historic scenes from past parades light up the center of the float. The Battle Flower Association staged its very first parade back in 1891 in honor of the fallen heroes at the Alamo and the Battle of San Jacinto. And this parade is organized. You see a, a group of women on the parade is organized by women. And really steeped to tradition here in San Antonio. So you look at me like, yes, I, I understand why it's so organized. Right. You understand why it's such a big success. Because it's organized by women. So there you go. And of course, if you can't make it out to the Battle of Flowers Parade on Friday, you can watch it right here on KSAT 12. Our coverage starts at 12.30 p.m. Friday. People behind me get excited about watching that float go by. You see some of the pictures from old time set. Look at the Alamo on that one picture from way Those back. Those are so neat yeah. to see. Especially right celebrating 125 years this year. Next float up is the Ray Feo Scholarship Foundation. This year's Ray Feo, Derek Casey. Mr. Casey presented his alma mater, Texas State University, he graduated back in 1981 with a gift of 1.3 million back in February of 2008. And that is why it's been such an important part of San Antonio because of the money that he has helped raise for various charities. 501,000, once again, a record for Ray Fail Scholarship Foundation this year. $500,000 they raised. And a very special young woman on this barge this year. There she is, you see her on the right-hand side of your screen waving there. The Queen de la Feria de las Flores, that's Lisette Garza. You have had the pleasure, David, of meeting this young woman and talking with her, as have I. She has a great story to tell. She lived at St. Uh, PJ's Children's Home. Yeah. She is now in college. She is uh, big into theater. And she is Fiesta royalty this year. She's such an impressive young lady. And I just think that tells you that every child has a future no matter where they start it's it's where they can go and how they get there and with the support of organizations like the cavaliers and the donations they make that's one successful young woman who was able to take advantage of that opportunity and she's doing a great job and very very proud of her and what she represents and a, a few weekends ago i was actually out at st pj's when el rey feo and his court were there and it was great to see her interacting with everybody and you hear the song that they're playing on that floor right we, we are, are the, the champions, champions. Yes. Queen. that's from queen you know you heard of queen yes check it we got plenty of queens out here this evening. Fiesta San Antonio Commission Executive Committee on board this barge. Bonzetta Hickman is the current president. And did you know she was the queen of soul back in 1978? Wow. I know that now. Very nice. President-elect is Erwin DeLuna, who will be the president of Fiesta next year. All right, as we watch that float go by, Fiesta San Antonio royalty is now coming down the Arneson River Theater River portion. The queens of Fiesta with us tonight include 2016 Miss Fiesta San Antonio, Marimo Hegman, 
and Queen of Soul, Jola Lawal, and the Fiesta Team Queen, Allison Head, and then the Charo Queen, Yasmin Bernal. So if you want to know where all the queens are hanging out tonight, there they are. A whole lot of royalty on that float. That is. A whole lot of medals on that queen, too. They are such having an elaborate fun, they? outfit on yeah. all of the queens. They look so beautiful, and they're having such a great time. And that, that's what's so impressive to a lot of people. That's the, the big part of the tradition here during Fiesta, is seeing all the different royalty and all the different appearances they make. And we, we've we mentioned the uh, the KIPP school a couple of times to see that's the next float that's coming up, the KIPP San Antonio Public Schools. And once again, the Cavaliers gave a quarter of a million dollars thanks to help from other organizations and other folks. They were able to give actually four times what they had planned on giving up $50,000 ended up being $250,000. So they're going to build the first school in downtown San Antonio in 99 years. 99 years. And they're wow. going to name the gym of the new Kip School after the Texas Cavaliers. So I think that is absolutely fantastic. Important to note that the, the KIPP provides college prep education and support needed to guide students through college and help them on to a career path and finding success in life. Let's catch up now with Fiona, somewhere along the parade route, hanging out with those enjoying the night. Hey, Fiona. Hey, hey, you guys. Look, I found some of the smallest fans here. We've got Ava. This is Rico. This is Mateo. Wave, you're on TV. I think the mic, is my mic on? Yes. Yeah, because look who I've got. This is Blair. And Blair, what? hey, Blair, look over here, baby. Look over here. Hey, Blair. Hey, baby. <laughs> look over here. Blair watches SA Live every day at 1 o'clock on KSAT 12. So she knows who I am. And we became instant friends. So we're dancing to the music here at the Cavalier River Parade. Look at those beautiful eyes. And I don't mean Jeff's. <laughs> no. Blair's trying to figure this all out. What she's Blair watches SA Live every day. Hey, baby. You're so sweet. Those are, the, those are the kids having a good time yeah. out there. They got the light up necklaces and all part of the fun as it gets a little bit darker here. It's kind of what this parade's all about, isn't it, the kids? Absolutely, yeah. Bring them out, let them Cavaliers the doing so much to benefit children. They're, the, they're at the heart of this entire event. This is the sororities and fraternities float coming up next. Forties and fraternities are all collegiate-based organizations with over 600,000 members collectively. Each organization supports scholarships, mentoring, and educating youth. March of Dimes, St. Jude's Research, and many other community service endeavors for more than 100 years. Yeah. I kind of like the name of the band on that float, too. The Tailpipes. The Tailpipes. And they are rolling on the river. Blowing it out right there on the river, aren't they? The tailpipe thing. Are you with me, Claire? Did you get that? <laughs> All right, the, the floats are getting brighter as the, as the night gets darker. Kind of adds a little something extra. Yeah, the music's getting louder and getting better as the night goes on. It's actually been a fantastic evening. It's very comfortable down here for a river parade. You know, we have lucked out because we yeah, were we so did. worried all day long that we were going to be washed out. But it has turned out to be a super evening, and here are some superheroes wow. that are joining us. That's Spider-Man and Wonder Woman. Is that Wonder Woman? Is that right? Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. we got Iron Man, Spider-Man. Captain America, Batman. The Incredible Hulk's on there somewhere. There, see, that is Wonder Woman. I told you that was Wonder Woman. The students of Sunshine my College superheroes. for Come Deaf on. Children highlighting everyday superheroes. And Miss Fiesta, Maddie Moe Hageman, her project is very closely linked to the Sunshine Co Cottage. Her project this year, service project, of course, every Miss Fiesta has one. Her focus is providing American Sign Language interpreters for everyone at all three Fiesta events. We are not even halfway through all the floats you are going to see tonight. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. And I promise you, you will not miss a thing. Stay right where you are. We'll be coming back. Billy Mahone with Atlas Forest Carpet One. Family owned and providing San Antonio and South Texas with beautiful floors since 1948. I invite you to visit one of our two San Antonio showrooms and our experts will make sure you'll find the floor you're looking for. 
You see, our goal is to provide you with the highest quality hardwood, laminate, carpet, tile, and more, backed by our lifetime installation guarantee. Call or email us today, and we'd be happy to set up a free in-home estimate. Atlas Floors Carpet One. Great floors, done right. Introducing new Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. It's your favorite wine refreshed in a can. Now you can finally take Barefoot where you couldn't get Barefoot before. New Spritzer cans are convenient and refreshing. Perfect for beach days, barbecues, picnics, and the great outdoors. Anywhere you want to get Barefoot and have a great time. Available nationwide this summer in crisp white and summer red. New Barefoot Refresh Spritzers. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back. Okay, enough of the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new word. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cab Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. The Seven Seas Food Festival is back at SeaWorld. Set sail on a taste adventure with delicious international foods, local craft beers, and unique wines. Each weekend, April 9th to May 15th, enjoy live music while you sip and sample your way across the Seven Seas. Visit again and again all year long with the SeaWorld Annual Pass. Right now, buy an annual pass and get a free Fiesta medal. All right, it's all about fun at Fiesta and the River Parade, right? It is. Dancing to some Stevie Wonder at the oh, moment. Oh, he turned. I was, he turned. No, I was going to get him anyway. I got you anyway, though. All right, happy Fiesta. Everything going good tonight? You enjoying the parade? Having fun? All right, you like those floats going by? All right. Everybody your mom's going to have to wash your hair tonight, but that's okay. All over the place tonight. Oh, I'll just that's go to school like about. that tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Your hood, too. There you go. All right, we want to go to the next float coming up here. The San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, founded in 1896. The band DJ Freddie Washington. And you'll recognize... You're... They're a big part of what we do here in San Antonio, always promoting the success of local businesses and economic development, something that's uh, very important to, to the future of San Antonio. Oh, a little confetti popping there, huh? Confetti cannon, yeah. yeah I got to get me one of those for next year. I mean, I like the Coscarona thing to work really well on your hair. I like how it comes out, but, you know, there's people around that are sitting around next to us. That, well, you want to get a wide, you want to hit a wider yeah. audience. Yeah, we got to go for a bigger, uh, I think Adam Kasky has one of those. He does. So Unfortunately, he's not that. with us tonight. Yeah, that's part of that thing. That's, that's way the too much fun. Way too much fun. San Antonio. Gardenia and Musical Club float is floating by next. Their theme, Nature's Inspirations, and tonight they are champions of nature's beauty. I like that, champions of nature's beauty. San Antonio Gardenia Musical Club, fine arts group organized back in 1960. The main objective of the club is to present fine arts scholarships to deserving students who graduate from Bear County High Schools and continue their education at local colleges. Some beautiful young ladies on board tonight and beautiful flowers, perfect for fiesta and springtime. <laughs> you can't see it, but David Sears is jumping around. He's jumping around. Jump, 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 jump. Is this on your iPod? I assume so. I'm not saying. The next float coming up is the 100 Club of San Antonio, and this is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. We have been told 100 Club, hold on just a minute. They're not coming yet. But the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce should be up next. And their champions, River of Champions, their like theme that. tonight. The Year of Influence is the Hispanic Chamber's theme for 2016. They call it their call to make an impact every day and make positive changes for San Antonio's economic future. 
Oh, I heard a ghost first go, so there we go. I haven't really heard too many of those tonight. Everybody's been shooting off we need confetti to, cannons. We need and, to kick that up a notch yeah. then. Because we are in the playoffs, folks. We're told on this flow tonight the Tricentennial, uh, representatives from the Tricentennial Commission, and of course, 2018, San Antonio celebrating 300 years. All right, Jeff and Fiona once again hanging out in the crowd tonight. People are really enjoying this parade, getting fired up. Jeff and Fiona, what do you have for us? Hey, this is so awesome. What is your name? Natalie. And your name? Katie. Katie, the blue eye. Are y'all sisters? No. You're not. So do you know how many years a tricentennial is? No. Uh, three something. Woo! Three something. It's close. Fiona, do you know what a tricentennial is? Yes, I do. That's 300 years. You know how many candle, how many candles are going to be on that cake for San Antonio in, in 300? That'd be 300 candles. <laughs> yeah. That's going to happen in 2018. We're so excited. Your girls wave, okay? We're going to be celebrating that big birthday tonight here as we celebrate with the Cavaliers. Hey, Jeff and Fiona, we have some exciting times ahead. Not only are we in Fiesta, of course, it happens every year, but we're hearing plans about the city's tricentennial celebration. They're going to do it up right. And you know who else does this group every year? The San Antonio Zulu Association. They always have the most fun. I see these guys every year here at the River Parade, out in Flambeau. Whatever barge, whatever float they're on, they have a great time. <laughs> and to me, it seems pretty obvious, but they are champions this year of festive music. The big fiesta event that they're involved with every year, Taste of New Orleans, which happened over the weekend. Despite the rain, I saw some awesome photos and videos, and the food looked delicious. I'm sorry, I was over here. I, I, yeah, you have been distracted. This little guy over here was like nailing me with a coscarone. He wanted one, so I gave him one. My way, like if you wanted one, this is how I give you one, right? So that's how I gave him one. You're so generous. And then he turned around and, and, and well, he, he got me and it was like kind of oh, all over and kind of like that. And so I was having to clean up and. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you cleaning? They got this a flavor is not the these time things. to be clean. They got a flavor of these things. He got, he, where'd he go? Where'd that little guy go? Hey, where'd he go? Texas A&M University, San Antonio, coming up next. The theme of their float is building the future. See, like these little guys throwing the Costaronis around. That part of our future, That's right? That's the future. Yeah, there you go. Their theme is technology. Oh, is this is this DJ Tonic? Not On board it. here, Miss Texas A&M San Antonio, Shelby Benzoni. Mr. Texas A&M San Antonio, Yamel Valencia, and General the Jaguar. All right, now, oh, is that, that looks like a familiar sight to me. Doesn't it look like the trophy to you, like the NBA championship? Was that what I saw? Down Syndrome Association oh, of South yeah. Texas is... And that's why you see the trophy, yeah. champion of Spurs, our hometown. Go Spurs, go! Yeah, fired up folks there. You know, the mission of the Down Syndrome Association provides services and support for children and adults with Down Syndrome and their families in San Antonio and the surrounding areas. Here's that areas. cheer. Let's hear Here's it. Here's that cheer. You know what? They could just keep that float just like it is. And maybe they <laughs> can use it in about a month in and a half, two months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got their big win last night, game one against the Grizzlies. So game Wouldn't two coming up tomorrow awesome night. Wouldn't that if we got to come back here for a totally yeah. different reason in June? And see that oh. float again with a sixth trophy on there. That would be kind of fun. All right. The next float here, Trinity University, champions of home runs in education. Yeah, their theme this year is baseball. 
Trinity University founded way back in 1869, ranked number one in the West by U.S. News and World Report, America's Best Colleges Guide for 24 consecutive years. That is something to brag about. Trinity enrolls each year 2,300 undergrads and 20 or 200 rather graduate students. They got about 15 members of Trinity University's student body on that float. They look like they're having a good time. And coming up next, the Alamo Mission Chapter Children of the Republic of Texas. Their theme, the Heroes of the Alamo, Champions of Preservation. Of course, the Alamo, one of the missions, and now we're a World Heritage Site. And interesting to note here, these children on board this float are all direct descendants of the settlers and patriots who fought for Texas independence in 1836. if you will. Yeah, I like, I, like, I like that. I like some of Katy Perry's songs, but not that one particularly over the top one. We're going to have so much more coming up here in this parade. We are not done yet. Stick around. Looking We're for the continuing Costarone. to you hit celebrate from me. Fiesta. You and hit the Costarone. So, right? We'll be right back. How fun is that? Come on. At Gabriel's Liquor, we care about our customers. Whether you are a beer drinker, like a tasty craft cocktail, or prefer a fine glass of wine, we got you covered. Come to any of our locations and browse our extensive selection of beer, liquor, and wine. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram to check out our amazing weekly specials, giveaways, and more. We are proud to be a San Antonio family-owned business. Shop local, shop at the spot, shop Gabriel's Liquor. Billy Mahone with Atlas Floors Carpet One family owned and providing San Antonio and South Texas with beautiful floors since 1948. I invite you to visit one of our two San Antonio showrooms and our experts will make sure you'll find the floor you're looking for. You see, our goal is to provide you with the highest quality hardwood, laminate, carpet, tile, and more, backed by our lifetime installation guarantee. Call or email us today and we'd be happy to set up a free in-home estimate. Atlas Floors Carpet One. Great floors, done right. Look at one. You want me to? Sh shake? Down? Speak. Kick your salad up a notch with a new spicy Southwest salad. Only at Chick-fil-A. When celebrating Fiesta, let's keep the San Antonio area safe. Join the millions of American adults who have either been a designated driver or used one. Thanks to Texans drinking responsibly, drunk driving fatalities are at a record low. Let's continue to keep San Antonio roads safe. Make a plan to make it home. Remember, celebrate responsibly. Don't drink and drive, just don't do it. Happy Fiesta from your friends at Bud Light and Silver Eagle Distributors. And the San Antonio Police Department. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta. Welcome back. Things rocking and rolling here along the San Antonio River, the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We've had a great night so far. These guys back here putting on their medals. So, so we're, we were just chatting with some guys back here. Y'all been to the parade before. What's the special thing about this parade? What do you like about this parade the most? The floats, you like they... There's four it's or five all about guys kids. Here. These yeah. kids out here enjoying it. Texas Cavaliers do so much to benefit kids and some, some bigger kids. Let's say that. How about that? Young adults, if you will, on I our next them. float. The University of Texas at San Antonio. They are coming up next. Champions of the finish line. Track and field, the theme of the UTSA float. Well suited for the theme this year. We brought home a championship in each of the last 10 seasons under head track coach Aaron Fox. So they're going to slow the float down for us a little bit. Not going to go by real fast. 
I'd say they're normally a pretty speedy group, but, but tonight, uh, speed is not the important thing. Of Look course, at those awesome shirts. We're talking a little bit about track and field. Of course, UTSA has a new head football coach. He comes to us from LSU. He was like a crack recruiter at LSU. So, and he's actually from New Orleans. So, we didn't get a chance. We, so he's in the he's in the front of the uh, front of the barge. So get a glimpse of him too. So this will be his first year coaching the UTSA Roadrunners football program, and and hopefully next year we'll get a chance to go out and taste of New Orleans with him, and so he, he can like get a feel for home while he's here in San Antonio. Because you know, taste of New Orleans is pretty good. They got some good food over there. So we look forward to that. I like those shirts. Yeah, you're talking about hey, this. That Roadrunner is lit up. United Way of San Antonio and Bear County. They are champions of family. United Way San Antonio and Bear County. Hey, the Rick Calendar what Band. It means. Yeah, just to, to be families, to support families. Yeah. We know Rick Cavender got a big family, so they're enjoying this, uh, this time. And pretty good band, too. So he'll be coming up here in just a second. Get some of these light up necklaces. That's what you and I need. I know. I got costumes on it. But a light up necklace would really accentuate the confetti. What? I have a feeling. All right. Well, next year we'll have to work on that. So, well, they got these people in the stands rocking and rolling. They're up dancing. They're having a great time. We are so fortunate that we're actually out here tonight after what's been going on the last uh, day and early this morning. But man, yes. this parade has turned out to be absolutely fantastic. Wonderful night. Next float up, University of the Incarnate Word. Their theme is football, and they are champions of crossing the goal line. Back in 1881, the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word founded Incarnate Word College. It is now a university. They enroll 9,188 students, the largest Catholic university in Texas, the fourth largest private university in the state. And they say their champions are their students, faculty, and alumni that make UIW what it is today. And before you know it, it will be football season. I don't want to skip ahead. Wow. Yeah. That's true. But I'm amazed at how quickly Fiesta came this year. <laughs> we were just here last year, weren't we? I know. I know. And each year, you know, it's like the crowd gets more and more into it. No, People sure. want more right and more medals, which we're happy to give. We got plenty of them out here tonight. These are the guys I was talking to a while ago. They like the Fiesta Parade, the, the River Parade, because they like the floats, they told me. And they like the fact that, you know, they can stay up late tonight. Yeah. So, so that's what hey, me too. About. So they're having a great time. They're just hanging out. They're just watching all the floats go by. This is the San Antonio Conservation Society float. They've been champion historic preservation since 1924, nonprofit membership organization. They're always working to protect unique, historic, and cultural fabric of San Antonio through educational programs, community grants, direct conservation efforts, and local landmarks, including, of course, the San Antonio Missions. Oh, let's listen in. They put on Niosa starts tomorrow, Tuesday through Friday. Right here behind us, we saw them set up when we came in. Rolling, rolling, Are you on, rolling the on the river. river? That's the perfect song to play, isn't it? Another group of folks <laughs> rocking and rolling out there for us tonight. Jeff and Fiona. What trouble are you all getting into now? Hey! We're just acting like fans of the parade parade. You know, we're, we're, we're watching the parade with some of the big fans. I want you to see the cover of the program out here, too. Because it's all about the kids and how much money the Cavaliers have raised for you. Yes, it is. And look who we have here. We've got Catherine. This is Byron. Laura now. Are you guys having a good time? Yes, I am. What's been, what's been the, what's your favorite thing about the parade so far? Well, I'm just so happy that it didn't rain and that we're here and everyone works so hard. Seen the 
that'll be going off on that stage here in just a little bit. Have you guys seen our very own Mike Osterhage? He's up there judging yes. the floats and stuff. Yes. And one of these floats is going to win some money tonight for their organization, which That's is the other cool. So we just keep giving back keep with giving the Cavaliers. It's awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. We want you guys to watch our show at 1 o'clock, okay? Say? Do you want to say Viva Fiesta? Viva! 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 There you go. Viva the little Fiesta! Man's in the house. Some of the coolest fans out here tonight. <laughs> our Lady of the Lake University coming up next here. There's some more of those light up glasses and necklaces. Everything's like lit up tonight. Yeah, they got a big theme here all yeah. about lights in the sky. Astronauts, they are champions of shooting for the stars. Of course, Our Lady of the Lake located just three miles from downtown, the gym of the San Antonio's West Side, home to the Harry Jersey Speech, Language, and Hearing Center, dedicated to serving the needs of San Antonio children and adults who have communication disabilities. Unique program over there. Next float coming up here, Respite Care of San Antonio, sponsored by Methodist Healthcare. They are champions of the river. Respite Care Services serves children with special needs through a developmental daycare, a short-term care from multiple locations, and foster care. The only licensed emergency, emergency shelter, rather, in Texas for special needs children who are taken into protective custody. A lot of really great work that this organization does. By the way, the band on this float is called Bittersweet. And they got the crowd fired up, too, so... The only thing bittersweet about tonight is that it has to end. Not yet. Not yet. It's amazing all these bands that they find to get on these floats and how good they are. I know. Some good music. All right, you the next float. Man, this is one of my favorite places. Would I like to be 10 again? Well, I just I pretend I'm 10, and I go. I know you've been there. Yes. A couple of times? More than once. <laughs> I sneak in. And I got to go. I haven't been uh, yet. The Duseum. The Duseum. San it's Antonio's Museum for Kids. The brand new location they opened up along Broadway. Passing by there as much as I do, it looks awesome. Two levels of nothing but fun and education. Wow. And the education is fun, so you can deal with the learning part because it's all fun. It's so just, you don't know you're getting an education? No, you, you're just having too much fun. It's a great, uh, absolutely. Remember when the when they had the Children's Museum downtown? It was kind of in a, in a little building. This thing is tiny. like expansive. Yeah. And they've got the treehouse out there now. Yes. Yeah, see? <laughs> I've been there more than once. I'm oh, telling yeah. you. If you haven't been, you need to go and take your kids. Or just go by yourself and tell them your kids are on the way. Which, you're just there to enjoy. I want to check it out before the kids show up. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, next, uh, next coming up is the Birdies for Charity float. Now, this is uh, the Valero Texas Open float. And, of course, the Texas Open coming back to San Antonio this year out of the JW Marriott Champions course out there. The defending champion is Jimmy Walker. And we like Jimmy Walker because he's from Bird. We like a lot of the defending champions. We like them all, but... Jimmy Walker just happens to be Special kind connection. of a hometown guy because yeah. he's from Bernie. So, and of course, Valero Texas Open is all about just like the Cavaliers raising money for charities. They call it Birdies for Charity. They honor the champions of the heart, the children and charities of our community through the Open Tournament. And you know, this has to be a tough job judging all of these floats. Our oh, own yeah. Mike Osterhage is up for the challenge tonight. He is out along the parade route with Jeff and Fiona. Hey, guys. I see the scores. I, I see, see the scores. scores. I know what you're doing hey, over there, Mike. Hey, no, 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 hey no, no, look no, no, at no. the museum and the birdies for charity. I know, I know. So you're having a good folks. time? This is fantastic. I've loved it. I've done this about, I don't know, four or five years. This is just a blast. You're a little underdressed. Well, I'm sorry. So we need to make sure you get some you got to put stuff in. The Silver Fox needs some decorations, baby. Exactly. <laughs> now, I want to show you something. Next if you thing. think this stuff doesn't move on TV, it doesn't move in person either. Look at, look at this. That's TV <laughs> hair, baby. He is cut loose tonight. Man, that's why I love this boy. So. <laughs> hey. You've got, you got a special judge with you, too. Hey, hey. 
quickly. This is Robert Ochoa, and he is a uh, an Iraq and Afghanistan veteran, a three-time Purple, Purple Heart, Heart recipient. recipient. Thank you for your wow. service, sir. Thank you for having and you having a good time? Oh, having a great time. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Military yeah. City USA. Oh, this thank is a you, blast. Mr. Ochoa. You better get back that's to work. Awesome. I know. This thing is out of control here. Oh, that's a great. Oh, I love There's that. There's a giraffe. It's a giraffe. And a zebra. It's, it's the, the zoo. It's the zoo. They, they, gotta, they gotta leave my alone. They got a job to do here. I know, and a tough one. San Antonio Zoological that. Society. I have to say, they bring it every year. Their floats are always, always some of good. the most memorable. Wow. They got animals on their floats. Champions of the Wild Kingdom, getting wild and crazy on the float. They work animal care specialists for the zoo. Work with over 9,000 animals, representing 750 species. And so after you do the museum, you go to the zoo. I know, there's so a lot a of cool day. stuff. You don't need kids to have all this fun in San Antonio, I'm telling you. No. Just go on your own. It's great. Hey, the Brighton Center float is coming up next. Their theme is the Olympics, and it's the champions of empowerment. Brighton Center honored to have the 2016 Queen of the Vine, their fundraising champion, Ashley Thomason, representing their float. Ashley raised over $120,000 for Brighton and the more than... 2,700 children with disabilities, delays that they serve every year in San Antonio. And I've always said this, I love watching young people help young people. There's no bigger thrill than to see the kids out helping the kids. Yeah, and that's one of the big things that we heard King Antonio talk about. Champions of not just finishing first, not just winning the game, but a whole lot of different causes that this entire event and so much of Fiesta benefits. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. American Red Cross, speaking of serving, they have a float out here. That's an important job that those folks do. Definitely. Yeah, unfortunately, we had some flooding around San Antonio. The good news is, don't think we had to call the Red Cross this time, but they're always there when you need them, and their float's coming up next. Yeah. And their theme is USA Presidents, Champions of Compassion. So we'll be checking on that float in just a second. The float's coming up. There they are. Well, they're coming down. I, I, I can feel it. They're coming right around the corner. The good news is the David band is playing. David and his oh, band yeah. are playing. And, that's, so. and for, for everybody who's watching this at home, even when there's a break in the floats, we have musical entertainment right out here on the stage. So there is, watch there's this, no watch break that, watch in the action. Watch how this action. works. Watch this. Watch this. Don't fall out your chair now. Come on. Just like the band. Metal's gone. That's all you do. I know. We have so many out here. We're <laughs> passing them out, swapping with people. You another one? Watch. Watch. Watch this one. Oh, it went off camera. <laughs> it's gone, too. See? Magic. I don't think about Fiesta. All right. Fiesta's here we go. Like the American Red Cross serving Greater San Antonio. Oh, there's the float. I mean, wait yeah. on the float. There we go. Of course, they respond to disasters. They help out military service members. They provide community education. If there is a fire, if there is a storm, if there is flooding, these are the folks who are there. They come when they're called. And an important job they do. And if you never find yourself in that situation, they still provide a lot of education, reminding people to have a fire safety plan, for example, have emergency kits available. And it's so amazing. If they're the, not called, you know what to the do. The number of volunteers. And all volunteers, they don't yes. just work in San Antonio, they go all around Texas. They, they even go to Oklahoma, Louisiana, wherever they're needed, yeah. wherever they're called, they will go. So that's what's so fantastic about yeah. that organization. They're not just, not just helping people in the local community, but they help people in other communities who need it as well. The Autism Treatment Center here on the next float. They are champions of hope. Yeah, the Autism Treatment Center has been serving San Antonio since 1978, honoring champions of hope, the therapists, teachers, and caregivers who empower children and adults with autism to learn, play, work, and live as independently as possible in the community. Heinrich Settles represents the Autism Treatment Center as a duke on the Fiesta Especial Royal Court. They're the modern medicine champion of hope. Another one of those awesome bands you were talking about. Okay, that was the know. band Bella. Is that, is that, that's Bella. Yeah. Walking on sunshine. Walking on sunshine. We, didn't, we were not able fun. to do that at any point today, but no. that was okay because we are here nonetheless. Not a washout. Everybody having just a great time, and I can't help but just be reminded how lucky we are 
that all this happened today. <laughs> it's like magic. You know, we are pretty lucky to be out here because I, I, I just, I don't know. Can we have this much fun? Yeah. Is that a parade? We can. Happen? We can have even more. The kids are having a great time. I know a couple Enjoy of medals. people who are having an awesome time oh, out that. there. Jeff and Fiona, how are you guys liking the coverage of the first, your first river parade? Okay. Oh, I love it. I'm hanging out. All right. Hi. Hey. All right, we are over here. Check this out. Hi, hi, hi. Can you move that? I'm sitting next to, I'm sitting next to Lynn. Who are we? Hey, y'all are on live national San Antonio <laughs> television. So we're hanging out. I got to be a judge last year for the parade, so right. I had Mike's job. And I got to tell you, the entertainment is out of control. And they're, they're private parties that we've crashed. And this is Lynn, and you are? Hi, Julie. What do you think hi. of the parade so far this year? I think it's fantastic. That's great. And Lynn, what do you think? I think it's wonderful. And you go, and you got your grandbabies that came with oh, you. Oh, right? we do. They were on the Cavalier float. Oh, wonderful. And we were here to support Queen Lida and Elizabeth the Princess from 2015. This is so much fun. And who are you rooting for? Who are you here to support? Well, my kids. Where are they? They they just went by. <laughs> they were on a float. We saw them. We saw them on television. Yeah. And right. I think there's Yoda. Uh, there's other things coming down the coming down the What do you think all this, Yoda? Awesome. Girls Inc. of San Antonio. Their theme is Star Wars. Oh, here we go. Star Wars. It would have been a parade without Star Wars, hey, would it? They are champions of a cause I can get behind. Girl power. Girl power. Here we go. Yes, ma'am. You like some girl power? Always. Everybody needs some girl power. Yes, we do. Girls Inc. works to inspire young girls to be smart, strong, independent, and bold by engaging them in empowerment programs throughout the year. Just listening to the theme what, music hey, as it goes by. Do you think they have the force with them? The force of girl power? You always have the force with you. Yeah. I, I know that. So, And we're going to go to break right now because you have that kind of power to send us to a break. So go ahead. We'll be right back. Your Tundra can haul loads of gravel. It can, but I'm busy. How about cinder blocks? Yeah, no. Going riding. Let's pull out stumps. Rather go fishing. Gravel is back. Okay, enough with the gravel. The 2016 Toyota Tundra. For those who believe play is the new word. Right now, qualified lessees can lease a dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cab Tundra for $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. I'll get him on. You want me to... Shake? Down? Speak. Kick your salad up a notch with a new spicy Southwest salad. Only at Chick-fil-A. At Methodist Healthcare, we know life isn't just lived. It's treasured, celebrated, and we do everything in our power to preserve it. A clear vision and dedication have guided us. Our mission will never waver. That's our pledge. That's our privilege. For over 50 years, we've delivered a level of care that's made Methodist your preferred choice. Methodist Healthcare. I'm Gloria of AARP, and I'm here at the murals to paint you a picture of all the real possibilities we're creating right here in our community. Because if you don't think real possibilities in San Antonio, when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. We're making our city more livable, hosting our Movies for Grown Up series, providing AARP tech workshops, and sponsoring local music and dancing festivals. Get to know us at aarp.org slash San Antonio. And welcome back to the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Just in case, I don't, I think we had a refresher. Drinks there. Yeah, I, I, I have something in my uh, in my margarita here. Oh, oh, yep. Stop. Good it stuff. It belongs to you. I think we should go out to the floats now, I don't you? I couldn't help but you uh, uh, notice that you cleaned off your papers here. Well. I need to make sure those are covered in confetti. Los Compaves, the San Antonio Missions National Historic Park, and the National Park Service floats. The National Park Service turns yeah. 100 this year. 
Got some great national parks in San Antonio. I think they gave a deal last week. We get the national parks for free with that last weekend. I'm not sure if that oh, was last weekend. Got deals like that going on. Of course, the theme for this year, World Heritage Sites, Champions of World Heritage, San Antonio Missions Which we now. we are, yeah. A World Heritage Site, so we are very proud of that, and I know they are as well. Worked hard to get that distinction. Coming up next, Magic Theater. The theme is Tony's acting, championship yes. live performance. Magic Theater, I used to be a part of it when I was really? in high school, yeah. You're an actor? I play one on TV. You acting? <laughs> so, I did, yeah, I did some theater. Is this the real you or are you acting? You never can tell, David. <laughs> that's never what worries can me. Tell. What a beautiful gown. They do awesome work at the Magic Theater. And they also, you know, help out the youth in San Antonio. they got summer camps, Acting and Creativity Academy, programs with the Cindy Cryer Juvenile Detention Center, Shakespeare in the Park, workshops and schools all over the region. So they're taking care of the they had, yeah. young and upcoming. They guys. had Annie. They had Phantom of the Opera. Big fan of Phantom of the Opera. Are you really? Yes. Wow. I bet they do a fantastic job with that as well. So that's absolutely fun to see. All right, coming up next, what do we have? Oh, Another group that knows how to put on a show. Beethoven Manicor, champions of German heritage. We're going to hear some German music. Hear it? It's coming up here. Our own uh, Ryan Lloyd, part of our digital features team. He's part of this group. And their Garden Fest, that is Wednesday through Friday at Beethoven Manicor in Southtown. Come out, eat plenty of sausage, drink some beer, listen to music, and celebrate San Antonio's German heritage. They have a men's choir, women's choir, children's choir. There is no beer, that's why we drink down here. <laughs> How can you not be happy and festive? You have to be happy riding on that floor. I think that's probably a uh, request, uh, a prerequisite to riding on that Beethoven Manicor there. They might not be able to say that word either. <laughs> good, good Samaritan Community Services Float is next champions of nobility. They help families overcome poverty. Services include child development program, after school and summer youth enrichment programs, a college readiness program, family services, and the only nationally accredited senior center in South Texas. It began as a ministry of the Episcopal Church on the west side back in 1951 in San Antonio. Now reaches more than 5,000 people across eight sites in seven different South Texas cities. Right. We were talking about the 100 Club earlier. Yeah. Had a little problem with the float, but apparently right. they got that problem straightened out. They're up so, and running. So the 100 Club of San Antonio float is on its way down the river, and there they are coming up under the bridge. Now, the 100 Club of San Antonio serves a family of those who have fallen in the line of duty. The club champion are celebrating this year. Because Bear County Sheriff's Deputy Joseph Canales, who lost his father. He was an SAPD officer, Tony Canales. He lost him back in 1972 when his mother was pregnant with Joseph. Joseph was born one month later. He was wounded in the line of duty by gunfire last October, so we celebrate their family legacy and commitment to protecting our city. And i got to tell you, you got a chance to meet him about a couple of weeks ago. I remember was, you telling me his story. You were that impressed by it. He was, he was answering an SAPD call, and that's when he was shot a couple of times, and he's just now getting over those wounds. He's been back on the job for... A, about three weeks now, and he's part of the K-9 unit. So we are so thrilled Some to see Some of our him KZ-12 yeah. crew there covering the parade for us along the parade route with the 100 Club. And I feel like we always say every group that comes by, they do such important work, yes. but that's because they all do. And everyone has their different cause. Everyone has their different group that they reach out to. But Over 50 floats. So yeah. imagine every one of those floats has some cause and all these organizations are donating to these causes, which and that's why San Antonio is such a unique city. I mean, yeah. we have we have that's what makes it walk. so awesome. We're such a community, and that's what I try to explain to people who aren't from here. What is Fiesta? They ask, and, and you tell them all the different groups that are involved. 
And it's just such a unique experience that brings everybody together from every different part of town. That's what I love about it. The University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio Float Champions of the Cure, and why not? They have a school of medicine, nursing, dentistry. They have health professions and graduate biomedical sciences. They produce more than 32,000 graduates. So if you're going to the doctors these days, one of those doctors may have come from the University of Texas Health Science Center. Oh, we're rolling on the river again, too. Hey, they are rolling on the river as everybody is tonight. This is the band morning. Let's listen in. Very key. Rolling. Rolling. I don't know. Coming up, the next float we got another awesome group, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Man and Woman of the Year. Their theme is TV movie heroes. And they are champions of another tomorrow. Some more superhero references there. Superman. April and Sarah dressed up as Wonder Woman there, there tonight. Go. Carol Burnett, one of the, the TV heroes there. She used to have a home in San Antonio. Yeah. E.T. No. We are actually starting to wind down the 2016. No, so yeah, I know. So. I know, but we still got a few floats left with some good music coming. Next up is the YMCA Greater San Antonio YMCA. I know you got that. You, you asked got me that to do dance. it earlier. YMCA. There we go. The theme this year is soccer champions of youth sports. They've been providing programs and services in our community for 140 years, but they have not been doing the YMCA dance for that long. <laughs> no, that wasn't until much, you did much good later. With that. So, yeah, they have taken care of a lot of youth in San Antonio for a lot of years, and fantastic organizations. Many, many people. Go to the Y. Way to keep them off the streets and give them some exercise because there's lots of fun things to do at the Y. We've got such an awesome time out here tonight. The floats, like we said, they get bigger and better each year. The groups are so into it. The crowd is so into it. You know, we're here at the Arneson River Theater, but we can see along the river there's not an empty seat down through here no, for I, the Little Rhine Steakhouse. There's crowds just we were still into it two hours later. What a great city San Antonio is. And, man, they will not pass up a party. No. Little Rain and not going to keep these people you? from this parade. So, And if you weren't able to come down here, we definitely appreciate you uh, oh, being with us tonight as we look here. the parade. Wow. San this. Antonio Humane Society. San Antonio Humane Society. Animal Advocacy is their is what they are champion tonight, and their theme is domesticated animals. And this is El Rey Fido and his court on board, board this float, and you might have seen them on SA Live earlier today. This is a cute court, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I like it. That's a little guy. Cute. I think we have one more float as we get ready to wrap up this edition of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. This is going to be the Mariachi Bonito Tech Alitlan. San Antonio's very own Fox Tech Mariachi is composed of all high school grade levels. Currently under the direction of Mr. Z David Zamaripa, the Fox Tech Mariachi has earned several accolades, a lot of awards at the local and the regional level throughout the years. All right, as this float passes by, we're getting ready for the big finale. This is the fireworks, so we'll take a look at that. As the final float passes by once again on the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade, we have enjoyed being with you tonight. We have hoped you enjoyed this parade. If you were not able to make it down for our watching it live here at the Arneson River Theater or anywhere along the river walk. You know, the first parade of Fiesta, we're kicking Whoa. things off. I think that's the way you end the parade right there, isn't it? There's no better. Absolutely fantastic. 
all the red and blue confetti coming down all over the Artisan Theater, representing the Texas Cavaliers, who obviously put on this parade and do such an amazing job with all of their fundraising and reminding people that this is a party with a purpose. And once again, we want you to stay with us because coming up in just a few minutes, we'll be joining Jeff and Fiona. Jeff and Fiona. They have had an they absolutely fantastic time. Oh, so there they are. There they are right there. Hello. Jeff and Fiona are here. <laughs> they're, they're ready to take over. But I can tell you for myself and for Meyer, we have had an absolutely fantastic time. Once again this year, the weather held. Yes. If you weren't able to make it down once again, thank that you very much so for being wonderful. with us tonight. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for joining us here at home. Can't believe that it's over. But the it fun's is. not over. Not Our coverage over. is not over. Jeff and Fiona are going to talk so much more about Fiesta, tell you stuff that you don't even know about this San Antonio tradition. Thank you so much for joining us for the 75th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Viva Fiesta. <laughs>